What's up guys, Trailing for 5 back, and this is a tour of the Minecraft server that I currently reside in. This is the spawn area, it's better than nothing. Nothing special about it really, apart from the well, which idiots have fallen down before. Hmm. Oh yes, I remember that one. I think that was Tran decided to jump. So obviously we've got pathways and NPC villages. This building here is going to be the supply shack and it will eventually have chests full of basic supplies like leather armour, some wooden tools and basic amounts of money to get you started. Depending on whether or not I choose to install a mod depends on whether it's gold or gold and iron or coins. We've got the nice little bridge. Then we get into the Pedo Village main. Decided to keep the name Pedo Village. Greeted by chickens! Not the chickens! Yes. I have a strong dislike for chickens. And it's too dark, I need to light it up. Oh, I can just do this. I'm 23, 500 magic got the village notice board again with rules and whatnot and the village notice board that should be a rule actually fuck that anyway little old man's meeting spot the village hall which is very important just so you know that some of the buildings in the server aren't finished yet, like that's going to be a gate over there eventually and stuff. Got the meeting hall. It's too dark in here as well. I'll light it up. How do we light it up? Close down. Hmm. Boof. And boof. No, nah, that'll do. We've got the farmer's hut. No one actually owns the farm yet, but someone will. It'll be bigger than that as well, they can build out more and along more. And probably get rid of some of this and build here as well. A random house that someone can own. Let's go fly over to it and see. Some of these things are just imported from old servers of mine. And I've remodeled them slightly, like I remodeled this. Added something on top. James's house. <coughs> Nothing really special about that. It's just James's house. I see nothing. <coughs> We've got the church. We'll go and explore that in a minute. Um, farmer's house and farm supply shop. Sell your bread and crap. Village general store. I think Pink Ops is still a manager. Why the frick is there a stone block there? Just ruined it. <laughs> Interesting. I suppose you've got to keep your supplies somewhere. But anyway, on with the tour. This building you'll recognise before if you've watched my previous Minecraft tour video. This is the thingy building, the furniture store, DFS or IKEA, whatever you want to call it. And someone. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Someone's been trolling. I mean, all the thingy my job thing is uh, priced iron at the moment but again that depends if mods are installed or not <coughs> and we've got Gerlux's shop the boat and fishing mm -hmm. shop <coughs> where you can buy a boat and rent a boat and buy a fishing rod and rent a fishing rod Obviously you can go sailing on the nice blue waters of 
pedo village I don't know how I came up with that name but I did we've got the jails now we we modeled them slightly aha uh -huh. oh that's where Tran died good fight <coughs> no, that's right Tran jails are fairly easy for me to manage but all I do is and username and magic you're in and obviously if you're on the other mode you can't get out genius waterfalls probably overdid the waterfalls a bit but yeah the estate agents I believe yes agency I think that's spelt wrong I don't know no it is right because it's agent yes probably I don't know <coughs> random house number one which is imported from the 1.6 or 7 server and random house number two also imported from the 1.6 or 7 server I think it's 1.7 but who cares <coughs> then by pride and joy it's meant to was originally just going to be a project the hanging gardens of Babylon but then I decided to convert it to sort of the admins area and the village thing we've got the bank and what else do we have? we have the train station which I'll show you later some epic bridge to the job center I can't think what else to build in, in the server but I'll find something else to build there's always stuff to build um, so obviously we've got <coughs> oops I really can't spell today add random jobs up um, yes, yeah, so this is sort of the place where anything important kind of is, like the bank and the job center. There's too much space and not enough to build in. But the neat thing about this is multi leveled place of awesomeness will fly for easiness's sake but each one of these up to the stairs has capacity for housing so in theory two four six eight ten houses in here it's pretty cool some of them are taken some of them aren't I don't even know which ones are taken or not at the moment not all of them anyway we have my house. I see my house. Hmm. There appears to be a hole in my wall. I don't even know how that happened. Um, sign. Obviously, we've got my kitchen, my brewing stands, my. don't know what you want to call this. Cellar, cupboard, whatever. Hmm, were my brewing stands doing anything? Oh, they were. <laughs> wow. Dining room. With cookies. Aha! It's all coming back to me now. The bedroom. Random. 
enchanting table. The throne and the shower. Widescreen fireplace. Oh yeah. Oh, oops. And the dogs. I gave them names, but I forgot. Dog one and dog two. Simple. My little farm. Uh, ah. Stealing trends idea, of course. The, the flowers in the house. Yes, Trans House and my little pool and a hot tub jacuzzi thing. We didn't really know how else to get a hot tub. So we just put lava underneath. <laughs> and the bar or the pub or whatnot. I was originally planning to download a mod that would allow me to have beer but that wouldn't work because long story but essentially it involved me downloading a lot more stuff that I didn't really want to download then we've got cash registers these will have potions in them aha I had downstairs Is the brewing area. Holy crap, what the fuck is all of this? Hmm, interesting. You've got cauldrons and infinite water supplies. And now the ingredients, I think. Yep, see? Stocked up and ready for the server to go legit. because obviously there's going to have to be some potions in the economy already before we can organise nether trips and raid the nether for more. I know one thing I'm missing. The military building, which is Aegis's job, which I said I'd build for him, but I, I didn't. So that's pretty much the basic tour of the server. It's very fun. I mean, yeah, it'd be better if Trent was on more stuff, but you know, it's Trent. He can't help it sometimes. Then we're just gonna go, go, little minecart, go. This is built mostly by actually this bit was built by Gurlix, and then we got stuck somewhere and so I modified it made it slightly better longer going to an actual de de technical difficulties gotta love them interrupting minecarts right. let's try again go yes here that they just don't want me to do well. Fine. Go to the minecart, go! Finally! Any more minecarts get in my way and I'm going to be pretty pissed off. But we can blame Trent for that one. Just littering the... The fuck! Littering the tracks with minecarts. I feel... I don't even know how to put it. Come back! <coughs> oh, that's another job I could put on the list, actually. Train manager. Which obviously we're going to have to someone to say, well, this side's going, so this side can't go. Let's go. And I find Minecraft a suitable alternative to just when Battlefield and Modern Warfare 3 won't cut it. 
I did promise an upload. This is an upload, it's not quite Call of Duty, but it's Minecraft and it's a video. <coughs> and basically, people that may have been interested in the server before, when it was hosted on Hamachi, but couldn't connect because of lag issues, you'll be pleased to know this is a dedicated server, it's paid for, and lag shouldn't be too much of an issue compared to, well, player hosted servers. <coughs> so I would recommend you just come and check it out. Build something. Get a job. That's right, you fucking hobos. Get a job. Because <coughs> I reckon once this server's up and started, we'll actually have a lot of fun. Waterfront house over there. That'd be Coe's, but I stole it. It's up for grabs now. Then we've got the church, built entirely by James. And in fact, we'll actually go right down to the bottom. <laughs> Just take a moment to read the signs. Then we carry on the journey up the stairs. <laughs> then next set of stairs are here. Side and let's put a crosshair back on now. We've got a nice white cloth path going up to the altar here. Presuming took his gift, he did. Good. We've got an outside. All crafted by James again. thought that one was a bit harsh as James walks in the room handy timing right there and that the magic tree of Sprite's village apparently it's the grand magic tree and I cut it in half whoops nothing seems to go right these days um, log thing that one. Magic. Mm -hmm. The Grand Mountain Tree of Pedo Village. And apparently I can't climb up the freaking ladder so I'll fly up the ladder. Or fall to the ground, you know. Anything to inconvenience me. We've got the bell tower, which kind of resembles a bell. I didn't really know. Or James didn't really know how to make it. Is it? What is it meant to be for? I blame Pinkops, just for convenience's sake. That's about it. We haven't really established where the village boundaries are going to be, where the wall's going to be, but I'll MC edit that in because I'm too lazy. But that's just about the server. If there's anything you want to know, interested in the IP and stuff, message me, comment, Skype, Steam, whatever's easier for you, and I'll get back to you as soon as I get a message because I'm just that lovely. But this is Sprite145 signing out.